Welcome to a video from thislifestyle.com uh, New Windows 11 build to look at This is 22557 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel And a huge amount of changes through this Loads of UI kind of changes So I'm going to go through some of my favourite uh, Just a note on the build there You see we're now in the .ni release um, channel Microsoft say this doesn't mean anything But uh, I've got a feeling these I mean, are all targeted for the release towards the end of this year but Microsoft say the dev channel uh, just has features that they're testing and then could be rolled out uh, into another build which the beta channel then is that but anyway let's have a look at what's in this one uh, I should say as well no ARM 64 bit version of this um, ARM's, um, the ARM version they might get out uh, another time but uh, yeah, not there at the moment right well the first thing is I swipe up from the bottom and I can bring up my um, Start menu, I swipe down, I'm using my finger on the surface uh, go touch screen and it goes away again. I can swipe uh, left like that and I get my all apps list and I swipe back again and if I go on the recommended bit and swipe left I get my recommended section, swipe back again. So I can swipe it back down. It's great for tablet users that, I'm really glad that they've uh, they've brought that back in, or they've brought that in because uh, yeah, it's, it's, I used to um, I use this on a Surface Go quite a lot, so I can, I can see that. But what you might notice here is I've got some folders. I've got uh, a couple of folders, and that is because they've introduced folders in uh, in Start now. So you can get an app and uh, say I want this one, and I want them to go together. So I drag it up together. I can then add things to it like that. So then when you click on the folder, it expands like that and um, it's a great way of grouping stuff together not unlike Windows Phone you, know, you could used to be able to do that you could do it in Windows 10 and uh, yeah that's that's a nice feature that I'm glad to see back also when you swipe from the from the right you see you've got action center but I'm moving my finger left and right on there and that brings that in that looks a lot better and they've done some updates on the uh, do not disturb and the the focus setting so um, focus and uh, enables you to uh, stay in the, in the zone not get distracted and uh, integrate to the clock app as well uh, so you can have the focus timer and those kind of things which we looked at in the past but you see it shows you've got your do not disturbs on the on there now and then you can go into notification settings and you can uh, personalize that so that's got my focus settings in there. I must about usually just use do not disturb and then take it off when I'm when I'm done, but that's quite good. You can set it for 30 minutes and you, you can customize it. Uh, so that's pretty good. I like I like that. Now something else uh, uh, another new feature is live captions. Um, so this you can get so if you do the Windows key control and L, you get live captions and it picks up what's been uh, going through the the sound card now it does say you can use it on the microphone but I'm not seeing it working on that but I did test it with a video so my audio capture software is is into into sort of uh, is grabbing something from that so I'm not sure this is going to work but uh, yeah, what happens is, as I was watching this video before, the text comes up there and it actually works really well. So um, this is Windows doing it, not from the YouTube or anything like that. So anything you've got in playing in, in Windows will intercept and do the, the live uh, captions on there. But now, a couple of things changed in File Explorer. Um, if I go to Quick Access now, you don't just see your folders, you see um, recent files on there and pin files on there. So there's my um, folders, there's the recent files. So um, where would, in the past you would see like my computer, you know, your drives, everything. Now you see your recent files, like you do on the recommended section on the start menu. But you notice I've got a pinned file on there as well. So you can actually go in and pin a file. So I can right click on a file. And do that as pin to quick access and that puts that on the quick access so if you regularly use a file you can pin that like that that just make it a lot easier and I think the recommended stuff which is recent use stuff is um, 
Although it is called recent used stuff, that works really well as well. So I, I really like that. So that's a that's a nice improvement. They've changed a couple of bits. Or they've improved the notifications with uh, OneDrive files. So I've got some OneDrive stuff on here, and you can go up to here and you can see your OneDrive status on there. I noticed as well um, if you download a big file as well you get a little indicator on there showing it's syncing as well but I think that's that's uh, that's quite a nice now another change they've made is around the snap so we all use well I like the snap assist when it uh, when you drag windows around but what you've got now as you drag up like that to this zone here you can see you get the little sort of templates for the snap assist so I can go say so that one and that puts it there like that, and I can choose, you know, which I want on the on the second one, or I can uh, drag this around, and you can see you've got a little highlight area at the top there, and I can put it there, and I can choose that one. And you see, as, you, as soon as I move the mouse as well into the, I think it resizes the window, so you get a preview on it like that. There's a couple of changes with settings. Uh, the default values for sleep and screen have been uh, updated to reduce energy consumption. So. Um, I think it's going to be a, a bit uh, a bit more aggressive on the power saving side, which is which is probably good. And you've got this nice little visual indicator here of um, of the of, of this battery state and the charge levels and everything else like that. There are improvements to narrator, but that does it doesn't work with my recording, so I'll I'll skip on to those. But I'll show you task manager has been uh, a bit of a makeover. We've got the the sort of Windows 11 style one now so you can see I've got the um, it's got the same body contents but the the look and feel of it is more Windows 11 and if you notice I'm in dark mode as well and it stays in dark mode so instead of getting the light mode sort of white bright light shining when you're in task manager um, it respects your system settings so this is a nice visual uh, overhaul and I think it, it looks really nice as well and you've also got the I had a feature last year, eco mode, where you can, um, where efficiency mode, where you can sort of, um, if you've got an app that's taking loads of resources, you can actually tell it to, I don't want to say there, say that. So there's an app, you can change it to efficiency mode so that it uses less resources. So if you've got something that's hammering your machine, take it to efficiency mode and it should reduce that down. Obviously, you'll get reduced performance of that app, but it gives you a control over it. So a feature that's returning that was in Windows 10, uh, you could drag and drop, that's back now. You can, and a lot of people will be happy with this, I know a lot of people missed it. So you can grab a file like that, hover over the application, say Word, and it task switches, and then you can paste it in like that, and I can choose where I want to paste it. Um, I'm not sure this will paste in there, but let's drop it in like that. But you can see, that's what I did before. So that's great to see. And I notice while I'm in this as well, we've got... Previews. Well, you can see what's in those folder icons. So you've not just got folder icons; you've got contents of folder icons, which is definitely great to see. And something else that was in ten, and a lot of people have missed. There's a couple of other bits and pieces as well. If you've got Outlook installed, you can directly email from uh, File Explorer if you with Outlook. Uh, also, Microsoft Say Search has been improved in this build as well. I would say actually the performance of this build seems better than the previous one. My Surface Go, this original one, feels a bit sluggish. It's unsupported on Windows 11, but I just just seem a bit a bit faster as well. Also, uh, change Alt Tab. If you notice here, I've got these split. It's a grouped session, so you can see the little background of the of the screenshots through there as well. Um, as a Surface Go user, something I can't show you because I'm connected up with the microphone and everything is that the auto rotate uh, animation looks better as well and I can say it definitely does work that. And Microsoft does say they've improved some of the emojis and they're just a bit clearer you can see that's uh, like the heart one has changed slightly as well. Uh, here's date and time in settings that's been changed got a new header on shows the date and time in, the, uh, in there as well. Uh, they also say if I um, I do run that some of the uh, boxes have got the sort of transparent um, thing on there it utilizes micro I 
don't think that's showing up on mine. Um, I think it was this bit that we'd expect it, so um, maybe they're still I'm not rolling that out. There's quite a lot of fixes in this, but I'm not going to dive into them too much now. There are some um, known issues. Some of the out-of-box setup in Enterprise may uh, be skipped. Uh, the start menu may appear uh, blurry briefly when opening, and sometimes the taskbar will flicker when switching input methods. Um, and the search may not always open. But those are the, the main changes. There's actually quite a lot. I've got a whole blog post on these, but these are the visual changes that I wanna, wanted to show you. I like the swipe up. I think that's uh, the swipe up for the start menu. I think that's great as a touchscreen user. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com. I'm at Dixon on Twitter, and I'm interested to see what more features we get in Windows 11.